Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our furnace and in the event that your furnace is not heating, we're going to show you the igniter and talk more about it. Safety first, go ahead and turn the heat off on your wall mounted thermostat. Downstairs inside the utility room where our furnace is, we have a Bryant brand. And if yours is like ours, you got a switch on the right hand side, make sure you turn that off. We have a little knob with a very long screw that secures this panel to here. Go ahead and unscrew that. After that, carefully shift it away and up and off the furnace. Set that aside. Back to the furnace. And after removing that panel, you've got this little access panel. And inside there is a red light that begins blinking anytime you have a fault. And this is your LED code sheet. And these numbers correspond with the amount of times that the light blinks. And in most cases, with this video, you are experiencing an issue with your ignition. So in the event that you see three blinks and then a pause and then four blinks, you have an ignition proving failure. So go ahead and read that, become familiar with it. But we do want to talk about your actual igniter way inside your furnace. Right there, you see a little tab sticking up. And if you go below, you'll see the lower portion of that tab and where it secures to this little bracket or mount here. You've got electrical wiring that feeds all the way around carefully shift this out and you want to make sure this is properly connected. Do your best not to harm any wires as you work with that. Go ahead and tuck that back in place after you have confirmed that it is properly secured and in the event that your furnace is starting, meaning your blower turns on, your inducer turns on, and your fan begins to spin and you've waited about a minute to two minutes and that igniter is not heating up or glowing, chances are your igniter has failed. So what I wanna do is I wanna go back upstairs. I'll turn this switch on first. I'll go back upstairs, turn the switch back to heat on the wall mounted thermostat, and I wanna show you what goes on in the proper sequence as the blower turns on, the inducer turns on, the fan starts spinning, gas is introduced as your igniter heats up. Back to the wall mounted thermostat, go ahead and turn it back on to heat. Let's go back downstairs. All right, DIYers, back down in the furnace room. We're just patiently waiting for the furnace to turn on, and I just heard something. Blower should turn on, and it is. On average, it goes through a 30 to 60, sometimes just a little bit longer test phase. And the next thing that's going to happen, your inducer motor will kick on and your fan will start spinning. After that, your igniter should begin heating up. So we're just patiently waiting for the inducer to turn on. While you're waiting, verify your gas valve is on as well as the valve to your gas line that feeds gas into the system is in line with the pipe, meaning on. And the inducer just turned on, the fan is spinning. The very next thing you should see within the next 30 seconds is that little tab of your igniter heat up. And if it does not, again, you have a failed igniter. As that heats up, it is going to get to a certain temperature, see that? And at this point, the gas is going to be introduced to the system and it will light once that igniter tip reaches the proper temperature. And all your burner tubes will ignite providing heat as shown right there. And that is how your system is supposed to work. Again, you can see that igniter tip still inside the flame, but the glowing has diminished and your system is up and running. And now heat is being pushed throughout your entire ducting and warming your house. So hopefully this helps DIYers. That's all I wanna cover in this video. Again, just basically the role of your igniter and ignition system and how it all plays together to provide that heat. In the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to test your actual igniter, definitely check out the video scrolling above. In addition, we will have a step-by-step -step video on how to properly and safely replace your igniter with a brand new igniter. And we will post that link down below in the comment section as well as the description section. Hopefully this helps DIYers. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we may see you at the next video.